Good morning. Let us study today axis of symmetry. What is called axis of symmetry? It is defined, it is represented by Cn. C where C means rotation, N means N fold rotation. C means rotation, N means N fold rotation. It is simply rotation of the molecule by 2 pi by N. Simply rotation of the molecule by an angle 2 pi by n. There are two types of axis of rotation. One principal axis of rotation to subsidiary axis of rotation. What is called axis of symmetry and what is called principal axis of symmetry? Principal axis of symmetry is the highest order of axis of symmetry. In square planar molecule, P4 is the highest order of axis of symmetry. In BF3 molecule, C3 is the highest order of axis of symmetry. Define axis of rotation. How do you define axis of rotation? It is defined as Rotation of a molecule, rotation of a molecule about an imaginary axis, about an imaginary axis by an angle 120 degree, an angle theta to give new configuration which is indistinguishable from the original configuration. So, for example, let us consider BF3 molecule. This is the structure of BF3 molecule. This is an imaginary axis. Imaginary axis. Rotation of the molecule in anti-clockwise direction. In anti-clockwise direction. We have labeled the chlorine atom arbitrarily A, B, C on Anti-clockwise rotation, this fluorine comes here on C3 rotation at an angle 120 degree. E comes here, A comes here and B goes here. Okay. This is the original configuration. This is the new configuration obtained after C3 axis of rotation. These two configurations, 1 and 2, are indistinguishable. They are not distinguishable. They are indistinguishable. Okay. Because um, the fluorine atoms are similar. All the fluorine atoms are similar. Therefore, the configurations, one new configuration is indistinguishable from the original configuration. In BF3 molecule, this is the principal axis of symmetry. C3. What is C3? It is represented by Cn. Therefore, in this case, n equal to 3. Rotation by axis of symmetry is simply rotation by 2 pi by n. Therefore, 2 pi by 3 equal to 2 into 180 divided by 3, 120 degree. Okay. So, what is C4? C4 means n equal to 4. 2 pi by 4. Now 90 degrees. C4 um, axis of symmetry with 90 degree rotation will give similar configuration. Similar configuration. What is C1? C1 means 2 pi by n, therefore 360 degree rotation. C1 is nothing but complete rotation or one complete revolution. This plane is perpendicular to this is molecular plane called sigma h horizontal also called horizontal plane of symmetry perpendicular this plane is perpendicular to the principal axis of symmetry so how many c3 axis of symmetry are there in bf3 molecule there are three C3 axis of symmetry, C3 1, 
e3 2 and e3 3 how they are represented diagrammatically on c3 one c3 one rotation one c3 rotation let us carry out one c3 rotation okay through anti clockwise rotation therefore as i said earlier c will come here a will come here and d will go here okay next another c3 one rotation this is the new configuration design. although all the fluorine atoms are similar we have labeled uh, for understanding the three c3 axis of symmetry in bf3 okay. so on c on another c C3 rotation, we will get this configuration through anti clockwise. So, uh, B will come here, E will come here, A will come here. Okay. And another C3 rotation will give the configuration 4. If you look at 1 and 4, they are same, they are identical configuration. 1 and 4 are identical, or same configuration. Okay. So, C3. C33, there are three C3 axis of symmetry, C31, C32, C33. C33 is nothing but equal to actually C1. Therefore, there are only two C3 axis of symmetry. There are three C31 and C33. C33 is C1. This is a 360 degree rotation. On rotating by 360 degree, you will get this configuration. Therefore, 1, 2, 3 are not identical. See, this is A here, this is C here, this is A here. So, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3 are similar configurations, not identical or not same configuration. Here, A, A is there, C is there, B is there. Therefore, 1 and 4 are same configuration. For C4, similarly for C4, C4 1, C4 2, C4 3, C4 4, C4 4 equal to C1. Okay. Therefore, there are three C4 axis of symmetry, C4 1, C4 2, C4 3. C4 4 is nothing but C1 1. Okay. Therefore, it is not counted. For Cn, Cn 1, Cn 2, Cn 3, Cn C and N, you can cancel this. That is C1 rotation. Let us uh, see different molecules and find out the axis of principal axis of symmetry. In ammonia molecule, the geometry is pyramidal. It has one lone pair here. It, is, it, has a, it possesses a pyramidal geometry. This is the highest. C3 is the highest order of axis of symmetry. In square planar molecule, C4 that is the 90 degree rotation will give similar configuration. Similar configuration. This is the highest order of axis of symmetry. For C4 is the principal axis of symmetry. In benzene molecule, it has hexagon geometry. And it has C3 principal axis of symmetry. What is subsidiary axis of symmetry? It is not the highest order of axis of symmetry. For example, in BF3 molecule, in addition to C3 axis of symmetry, in addition to one C3 axis of symmetry, there are three C2 axis of symmetry. There are three C2 axis of symmetry present in BF3 molecule. I have drawn and represented here. What is C2 is not the principal axis of symmetry. It is called subsidiary. Therefore, it is called subsidiary axis of symmetry. For example, let us consider a C2, an imaginary axis through BF bond. C2 axis of symmetry. Okay. Now on rotates so on rotating the molecule through this bond, okay, this fluorine will come here, this fluorine will 
go here. Four, similar configuration is obtained after rotation. Okay. Therefore, this is called C2 axis of symmetry. There are two other C2 axis of symmetry passing through this fluorine boron bond and this um, boron and purine bond. Okay. So, in BF3 molecule, there are three axis of symmetry, three C2 axis of symmetry. The C2 axis of symmetry is called subsidiary axis of symmetry. Thank you for watching.